Millions of times each day, Canadian consumers, governments, businesses, and financial institutions make payments. From buying groceries at the local supermarket to making payroll or a million-dollar real estate deal, these payments involve making a credit to one customer's account and a debit to another's, which generally results in one financial institution owing money to another. Have you ever stopped to wonder how financial institutions exchange, track, and settle these billions of dollars' worth of payments? That's what clearing and settlement systems do. So what does clearing and settlement mean exactly? Clearing means the reconciliation of all the payment items exchanged by financial institutions each day and figuring out the amounts owing to or by each financial institution. Settlement means the payment of these clearing balances. A tremendous amount of work happens behind the scenes to get your payments to where they need to go. The Canadian Payments Association, the CPA, operates Canada's cost-effective national clearing and settlement infrastructure, which is essential to the movement of hundreds of billions of dollars across the country each day. We lead our member financial institutions, businesses, government, and the public in establishing the rules of the payments highway. In a global and digital economy, the CPA provides a strong foundation to support innovation and the evolving needs of all those who depend on payments. Centuries ago, large payments called for heavy trunks full of coins. This was especially challenging for international merchants, who were required to risk large sums of money by literally shipping payments overseas, confronting storms, pirates, and other unfortunate encounters. In the Middle Ages, bills of exchange were developed as a way to allow international trade without the need for merchants to carry large amounts of money. Checks, a type of bill of exchange more commonly used for domestic payments, began to evolve later in the 18th century, especially in Great Britain, the financial superpower of the time. As check use grew in Great Britain, an informal check exchange developed between banks in London. Bank clerks would literally visit other London banks to exchange checks and keep a tally of the amounts they owed each other. As check use became more widespread, you can imagine that these visits became rather inefficient and time-consuming, and bank clerks probably got quite thirsty from all that walking about. So, around 1770, they started to meet daily at the Five Bells Tavern in London to exchange all their checks in one place and then settle the balances in cash. Although, history doesn't tell us how they sorted their bar tab. From there, modern check clearing houses evolved. In Canada, until at least most of the 20th century, check clearing was the exclusive responsibility of banks, with the rules and processes set by the Canadian Bankers Association. In the 1970s, concerns about competition in payment services began to emerge, particularly with the advent of electronic payments, as more and more non-bank players started to be involved in the payment system. The value of Canada's clearing and settlement system to the public interest and ensuring that the system served the best interest of Canadians were strong arguments to place its operations under the watchful eye of government and regulators. The discussions and consultations at that time led to new federal legislation called the Canadian Payments Association Act in 1980. As a result, the management and operation of payments clearing and settlement in Canada was given to the Canadian Payments Association as a public purpose organization. The legislation is now called the Canadian Payments Act. The Canadian Payments Act mandates the CPA to establish and operate national systems for the clearing and settlement of payments and to set the rules and standards that govern the exchange of payments between financial institutions in Canada. We'll talk about the automated clearing and settlement system, the U.S. bulk exchange, and the large value transfer system a little later in this presentation. The law also mandates the CPA to promote the efficiency, safety, and soundness of its clearing and settlement systems. The CPA has a public policy mandate to take into account the interests of users. Through a network of committees representing our member financial institutions and stakeholders, we interact with other payment networks and service providers operating in the Canadian market. We research emerging payment technologies, facilitate the interaction of CPA systems with others involved in the exchange, clearing, and settlement of payments, and we facilitate the development